Welcome to this, our newest episode of Handheld Heaven, where once again we have a trifecta format that's the Nintendo DS, yeah. iOS and PlayStation Vita. But let's start out with iOS because you've been playing a lot of games as usual yes. on your iPad. Yes, um, and I was planning to mention uh, Borderlands Legends, which I've really been looking forward to. Um, I'm still going to mention it, I'm not going to say much, but avoid. Uh, it's basically a 2K China who's made this game and well, it is Borderlands apart from, well, you cannot play co-op, it's not a first person shooter, there's no loot and you are confined to small arenas and the gameplay is basically broken. Um, that sounds like an awesome Borderlands. Yes. The graphics are, well, it, it looks nice. It's, it's, but I mean, it, the game isn't any fun. Let's, let's just. So, um, move on. <laughs> Please. Um, well, the next one is um, Arc Squadron. And Which is? Um, that is basically, it's, it's an Unreal powered uh, game. And um, it's a bit like Star Fox. Uh, I know I'm, I'm going to get, you know, shot for saying that, but it, it looks like, like, um, Star Fox, um, and it plays like sort of a, an arcade high score shooter. Um, basically, you've got um, one touch controls, it's just loading here, um, and you control your ship that has to kill enemies, collect boxes, and, and shoot bosses. It's, it's a pretty awesome game. It's, it's got great controls and a lot of stuff to upgrade and, and pretty graphics yes <laughs> and it's got high scores and and all the usual you know complete uh, a level for for one two or more stars i've heard yeah i'm pretty good it's a great game um you should pick that up for ios and that's arc squadron and also a racing game yeah need for speed most wanted and I mean, Hot Pursuit was, was a great iOS game. It wasn't the full game at all, um, but it worked like a charm. Mm. And the same can be said for this one. And it's basically um, drive around, collect, you know, prizes, uh, new cars, stuff like that. Oh, it's, sure. it's most of the stuff that you know from, from the most wanted game. It's not an open sandbox game like, like um, several of the, the, the other versions. Um, you basically choose your, your race on, on a static map mm. and then you start. Yeah. Um, so it's simple, but it, it's quite good for, for on the go racing. And as usual, the controls work perfect and the game looks absolutely amazing. So that comes good stuff. highly recommended. Also, you've been playing the PlayStation Vita version of yes. the new Need for Speed game. Yeah. Which is supposedly um, kind of just the console game transfer to PlayStation Vita, right? Yeah. That's, uh, it, it's pretty amazing actually, um, because they have, have sort of, of put the full game, um, as we know them from PlayStation 3 and mm. Xbox um, and PC, <laughs> into to the PS Vita. Um, they had to sacrifice a bit. And one of the things that's easily to, you know, easy to live with is um, you've only got four player online. And I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. You've got eight on, on the console, I think. Um, but you've got the same big sandbox, you've got all the racing and, and actually the, the, um, the points you earn uh, can be converted to, um, to the PS3 oh, or whatever you're so playing. Yeah. So you can basically rack up score on, on, on the go and then get home to your full HD game and, and continue on. Mm -hmm. Where it lacks a tiny bit is slowdown. It, it's it's okay in most of the game, but sometimes when, when you're in a race with four others, uh, four other competitors and, and you basically hit um, a road sign or something like that and you've got all these sparks and effects, uh, it slows down. That is kind of a killer for most racing games though. Yes, it is. For, for me it was. Uh, I know um, several people in the office uh, didn't mind and, and I thought it, it, it was okay. Um, I crashed twice doing a couple of races because of slowdown and that was enough for me to say, well, 
it's a nice game, but not that nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, I suggest taking a look for yourself if you get a chance to play a demo or, or anything like that. Uh, and and supposedly, possibly, can it be patched? You think? I think it could. Basically, what what they needed to do is is say whenever you start up a race, uh, remove some of all the shiny yeah. effects. I mean, I don't want to see sparks fly if if that you know sort of takes a dip on the frame rate. Yeah, I mean. of course. But it's 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 a good game. It's not an amazing game, but it's still amazing to see how much they've packed into the PS Vita version. Actually, mm. and now it's the 3DS. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's actually the DS. Really? Yeah, it's okay. uh, Pokemon, uh, the new Pokemon Black and White Part Two. Um, Catch them all. Yeah, of course. Uh, I have had a hard time playing uh, and and reviewing the last couple of Pokemons because to me because I'm not a you know super hardcore fan um, most of the games have kind of been pretty reminiscent of the other games to say it nice and and I was kind of skeptical about this new game but it is the sort of, of version that people like me can can fully be grabbed by once again because it's just chock full of, uh, of content and most of it is pretty new actually so you have like uh, new tournaments where you can compete against uh, characters from previous games which are pretty cool okay, yeah. uh, the gyms are completely re revamped and and themed um, by the characters you meet up with you get to explore a new part of uh, of the game world, and also it's got like crazy um, small um, online options, where you can actually sort of compete against other players, and the players will be able to s or copies sort of. yeah, yeah copies of the players will be able to set up shops in your world, and mm -hmm. they will stay there permanently, and they can level up, and you can buy items and That's everything. Nice. Cool. Yeah, it's it's a really nice little feature, and and um, you can sort of go on missions with other players, but it's not fully real time, and you know it's 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 the online version of a game for a young audience, I would say. Yeah. And it works. It's it's really really cool, and and of course on top of all of this, you have the classic Pokemon gameplay with tons of monsters to collect, the the old uh, you know rock paper scissors uh, role playing experience, and and just tons and tons of hours of content. So basically, the old game, a lot of people love. Yeah. But with a new, you know, a few new additions. Uh, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. It's um, for people like me who have skipped a couple of episodes. This is the perfect back, uh, perfect game to get back to if uh, if you want to get captured by the Pokemons once again. Cool. Yeah. You, on the other hand, on the PlayStation Vita. Yeah. Oof. It's Assassin's Creed. Liberation. Yeah. Yes. And I have really been enjoying this game. I don't know if you can see it, but um, basically it looks and feels like any Assassin's Creed game. Um, with some huge differences. Um, First of all, this is a separate story. Uh, I mean, you're not, you know, um, using any of the normal characters, and and you're not, you know, sort of of put into a long sequence with f uh, futuristic oh, stuff. Thank you. Um, yes, but you're put into another long sequence, um, which is basically being a pretty lady. Oh. Um, okay. The new elite character, Evelyn, um, is sort of, of the Batman of Assassin's Creed. Um, she is um, a bad girl. <laughs> uh, she is, um, of course, an assassin, but she's also this um, daughter of, of uh, a rich um, trader and daughter of um, a woman who was a slave. Mm. Uh, and she's using these three identities. Uh, and you're using them as a player as mm. well. Uh, she's got the normal uh, badass assassin that can do everything we know, you know, from mm. from, from the normal games. Um, but she's also got this um, um, nice lady that is upper class, and you know she uses her charm. Charm, <laughs> yes, and she can do stuff that the assassins can't. Uh, she's still got hidden knives, of course, just in case you need a bit of stabbing. Um, and she's got an umbrella that can shoot stuff. <laughs> um, as being an elegant lady means that she has to wear big dresses and stuff like that. She can't climb, um, which means that you are forced as a player to just walk around. 
it might not be to everyone's liking. Yeah, I was, um, was going to ask, yeah. like being a cool assassin, yes. killing people um, and, and then going into being a... But it, it's not too bad because actually at times it, it makes you feel a bit like Hitman instead. Ah. Um, you know, where, where you're using your social skills to blend in and yeah. then just, you know, kill them. <laughs> kind of um, sneaky. It, it's, it's, I think it's, it's a nice change uh, of pace. Mm? Um, and then we've got a third one, and that's a slave girl. She's not as good uh, at fighting. Um, but basically, she, um, whenever you know she gets uh, wanted for doing too much, you know, causing too much trouble, mm. uh, it happens with uh, wanted posters. And you can just tear those down. I mean, <laughs> so, okay. so, so she can do a lot of, of, of bad stuff and then sort of get away with it. But, but and she can climb. Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but, but it kind of sounds like you have three different poses. Are you able to switch up as you like or are the levels? Mm, no and yes. Okay. Um, actually, you, you um, in, in the beginning, you are sort of forced into using some of these characters. Um, there's even a mission where you have to use all three of them for the same mission. Um, but you buy um, dressing rooms <laughs> <laughs> around the city and, um, of and you, you can do. go in, yeah, yeah. And you can go in there and change. Okay. Um, I think it works really well and, and it sort of mixes a lot of, of different gameplay styles. Um, and since I think personally Evelyn is super charming and as I said before, a badass girl, <laughs> um, I really enjoyed it. Um, it helps, of course, that the story is, is well written and it feels like a, a full Assassin's game. Yeah. And, and will, I, I think it will take you, um, well, racing through everything like I basically did for the review version is uh, 10 to 12 hours of, of, of missions and, and, you know, the, the main story campaign. Um, but you've got all the useful stuff. You've got, um, you know, getting to the high vantage yeah. points and, and side missions and, and, yeah, causing riots because this is all about slavery. Um, and you've got a lot of different places to go. You've, you've even got a mini game um, after you're up for different places like New Orleans and Mexico and stuff like that. Um, you can trade um, stuff like um, tobacco and wine and coffee between the different places um, using ships and you of course can buy different ships and earn money that way. It's a fun mini game and um, as usual you know the Ubisoft likes to put in extra stuff in yeah. every Assassin's game and some of it works and some of it doesn't. But it's still this there for yeah. you to explore. Yes. Uh, another thing that's still there for you to explore is, is um, the multiplayer. I mean don't, don't believe that there's multiplayer just because it says so on the box. There isn't. There is um, a one screen globe where you fight of global domination um, between other players and it's broken and it's boring. But, but do you um, physically fight like you nope, do in the game nope. or is you it just... You just, uh, you know, sort of, of, of point to a note uh, and then you wait a day or some hours and see what happens and it's a snore fest. So ignore that, there's no multiplayer, but there's a super great single player game in here. Okay. And um, it comes highly recommended. So that's pretty much it for us this time around. Yeah. Uh, make sure to watch us next time uh, where we have several more handheld games for you hopefully to enjoy. Yes.